Hi friends, today I wanted to show you a new math program that I would like you to start using as soon as possible. Uh, this is called Symphony Math. It is very similar to Lexia, where you're going to log in, you're gonna have an assessment that you're going to have to complete. And then after that, it's gonna place you on a level. And this program is great because you're gonna be able to gain certain skills that you might be having difficulty with. It's also gonna give me a better understanding of how I can help you. So for today's video, I just wanted to show you how to log in. What you need to do is you need to put in the account number. Now the account number is going to be the same for everyone. So with Lexia, you would have to put in my email address or your teacher's email address. But for this, you just have to put in four numbers. So this is great. So the number you're gonna put in is 6847. So again, you have to put in that number. Everyone has to put in that same number. And then for your username and password, you're gonna be putting in your student ID. You're also gonna use your student ID as your password. So that's similar with Lexia. Your username and password is your student ID. Now for today, I just use my son's name, Chris, and then I created a password for him. So as soon as you type that in, you're gonna sign in. It might take a while. You're gonna get a link and I'm gonna show you the link. You're gonna press OK. Press the green button to continue. Now, one of the things that I really like about this program before we get started is that it will read the questions to you. So if you do have a hard time reading, this is great. Choose the symbol that makes the number sentence true. Okay, so you're gonna click on whatever you think. Um, again, this is an assessment, so it's not gonna tell you whether you're wrong or you're right. You're just gonna click on whatever you think. If you need the question to be read to you again, you just click on this Choose symbol here. The symbol that makes the number sentence true. All right, so what's great there is again, you wanna hear it again. You want to hear the question again and again. All you have to do is just click on it. That makes the number sentence true. When you are done answering the question, you're going to press next. This graph shows the different kinds of pets in Natasha's class. How many more dogs are there than fish? Then again, you're going to pick your answer and then you're going to click next. You're going to keep going until the assessment is done. Um, everybody gets a different assessment. So you might get a question like this. You might get the same question or something different. So again, this is just depends on if you're answering these questions correct or wrong. It's adaptive, which means that if it gives you a question where you have a hard time answering it. If you get the question wrong, it'll bring you to something a little bit more different. Um, and if you try to press next, this box will pop up. You have not completed this problem. If the problem is too hard, press skip. To go back and finish the problem, press finish. So I am gonna press finish. And then you're going to click on, I'm just going to click on whatever, whether it's right or wrong, and go to the next one. Ella has three cookies on her plate. Drag some cookies to Fred's plate so that they have five cookies all together. So here you're supposed to click. And then you can go next. So again, you're going to keep going until you get to the end of the assessment. And then I will be notified once your assessment is completed. And then from there, you're going to log in and then you're going to start the program again, just like Lexia. If you have any questions, let me know.